What up, everybody? It's your boy, Fairly Ghost 530. It's a new uh, event out. I don't know if you know this, but you probably all know it. Last time I played, I didn't get a chance to uh, check out anything new. I did play a couple events. The first thing I did was check out what was in the store today, since it finally reset. It looks like we got this new ninja here. He probably transforms into a dragon. That's going to be cool. I did have some tickets, so I did buy some llamas. And there's this new cool trap here for the wall. I can't wait to upgrade and try out. Shoots cannonballs. It's pretty interesting. So I did have tickets, like I said, to open up llamas. These are the heroes I did get from the llamas that I did open from this new event. I'm kind of glad I did save my tickets because I got all these guns as well except for this cannon ball launcher thing here it's probably going to be an event weapon you might be able to get into the event it's not showing how to get it yet or maybe it's just a rare thing you get in the llamas but it, as you can see it did have 12,000 tickets I saved I know it's not much but if you want to watch me sit here and open them up I didn't show every llama, only the ones that I did get legendary loot in. At the end of this video, I do go over the heroes I got, what they do, and all the weapons as well. If you want to stay until the end of the video, you can. You can check it out. They're pretty cool. Pretty cool weapons. The heroes are interesting. So far, I didn't like any of the heroes from what they can do, but some of the weapons look pretty cool. The hammer, I believe, does a triple armor on it, which is like the first weapon I think I've seen with triple armor abilities. Feel free to skip through the llamas here, me opening them up if you don't want to sit here, and watch several llamas being opened. Set a course for plunder! You can walk the plank. Yo ho ho and a llama of loot. can walk the plank. Yo ho ho and a llama of loot. You can walk the plank. Ill-gotten game. For plunder, check it out. Pirate treasure. You can walk the plank. Pirate treasure. for plunder doubloons the 
So the first thing I do go over as I look at this legendary broadside wall trap I was trying to see if the element made a might have been switchable it looked like it wasn't uh, it looks like a really cool trap though the second one I go over here is this new sniper rifle the Bond Voyage looks pretty dope it looks like it does a high critical damage causes affliction you can change pretty much Elliot any element on it. Hmm, not sure if I want to level that up or not, but it's nice to have in a collection. And I always like assault rifles, so I'm really excited to check this particular one out. It does have a thing where it splinters into shrap metal, dealing 40% damage in a cone behind the target. That's going to be interesting to see how that works. It's probably going to be one of the first guns I do level up in the game. Now, I always like to look at to see what upgrades I can change to the weapon. If I can do any element, any special, maybe abilities that I've never seen before. But basically this one just looks like a normal weapon with normal abilities. Let's see, the next weapon up is going to be the scythe here, the steam thrasher. Looks like, I really like this steam setup of these weapons. They're pretty interesting to look at. I like the designs on them. And a lot of these steam weapons causes this thing where it eliminates an enemy, creates a damage cloud of steam. This can only occur every five seconds. I think the hammer has that ability as well. It's going to be, I'm not sure if I'll level that up. I'm not much of like a scythe guy, like I said. Unless somebody, you know, maybe suggests that I try to make it better and level it up. I might, but probably that's on the back burner to do. The handgun, a steamroller. This looks pretty cool. But like I said, again, I'm not much of a hand guy, a handgun type of guy. I don't really have a lot of heroes that specialize in using pistols. I do, but I just don't like the pistol. But you never know. I might be able to... This might surprise me and change my opinion on pistols, but I doubt it. And I guess the this hammer here is probably one of my favorite ones out of all of them. I was just going over... The different upgrades you can do to it on the perks like I said it does have the eliminated enemy perk that causes a cloud of steam and I noticed when I was going through this this has an armor there's another armor and then there's a third armor and I had to go back and double check it again did I really see three armors? That's in a, that's gonna be cool. I've never like I said, I've never seen a weapon with three armor on it. So this weapon is gonna make you almost invincible if you're holding it in your hand and you're being attacked by enemies. You'll probably be taking at least seventy five percent less damage. They might nerf that. But you can see all the extra guns and stuff that I got from opening up all the llamas from the tickets I did save. I always like to save tickets from events. I do have a group of llamas I don't open ever. Um, and then I'm going to go over the heroes that I got really quick. I only got four of the legendary heroes out of those. And not all of them are from the event. I believe only three of them are. But I do have a lot of epics of the other ones. I think the first hero I'm probably going to level up is the new dragon one. Because this lady right here just increases the club damage. That's really all I look at nowadays in the setup on heroes. Well, that and their perks there's, that they can do. But she's just a hardware bonus. And same with this lady. Pistol damage increases sword damage. I don't even, that doesn't even make sense to me. Why would a ninja be using a pistol? 
and a sword. It's just a weird setup. I don't know how that would work. It looks complicated to me. And same thing with this guy. You're dealing sword damage increases the pistol damage. It's just it's kind of a weird setup. It's cool to have two different particular weapons, you know, boosting each other I guess to interlock with a new ability and a new setup of classes on heroes that you can make nowadays since everything is so weird. And this one's cool though. Something to do with coconuts. 20% chance to find a coconut. What What is that? I've never seen a coconut in the game. Do they put coconuts now in the game? Is that going to be permanent in the game? I guess I'll only be able to find out as I play. I've only done a couple missions like I said in the new event. In the new pirate event there is multiple things you can get from completing the event like the there's a new mythic hero, a sword, and a pistol. And I assume somewhere in there they're going to put that cannon. I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it helpful. Make sure you follow subscribe to your boy Fairly Ghost. Now you know you might want to save those tickets from those events if you have all the weapons. Because it looks like now you're going to be able to use them for future events. But make sure you follow subscribe and you hit that like button. But this is your boy Fairly. I'm out. The big girls stand up. Down south, Midwest, East Coast, West Coast, globally, everywhere, yeah.